Boom. So this is going to be a video about the Exorcist. And I'm trying to put together a, a route, a Mount Rushmore of horror movies. I've already watched uh, The Psycho, which came out in 1960. Um, I didn't really think of, well, I did think of another movie that shall not be named. <laughs> uh, but I decided to go with The Exorcist for the second spot. Now, um, I'll say it right now. So far, after watching these two movies, which are like vetted horror classics, I don't consider them horror movies just because I grew up watching uh, horror films who were had more of an emphasis on uh, jump scares and like crazy scenarios. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some crazy stuff going on in, the, in this movie, but I'm just like, this seems like more of a thriller to me. I don't know, because I like thrillers, so I guess... I would put it in that category just because I like both of these movies. And I'm, now I'm going to switch to just talking about just The Exorcist. But um, so it, it's, it follows uh, a young girl who is possessed by a demon, which I might have to watch that movie again because I'm pretty much lost how she was picked to be possessed. I don't know. But anyway, uh, and, and it takes a look at uh, it takes a look at. How a demon in the house can mess it all up and turn everything upside down. And, of course, there's a priest involved, too, which I'm like, because he has to do the exorcist, the exercise, exorcist. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Would he be exercising? I guess he did get a little exercise in. I don't know. But, <laughs> uh, and I have to say this before I even forget. What was going on with priests back during that time? I mean, they were inside this dormitory and they were playing cards, smoking and drinking, just carrying on up to all type of shenanigans. I was like, what? I don't know what's going on. Made me want to be a priest almost. Oh, but yeah, without the um, without the other stuff, though. So um, I'm trying to think what else happened in this movie. You know, if I don't make if I don't make a, a video of, of a movie I watch right after it, I'll start blanking. I just can't hold that stuff for too long. <laughs> um oh I wanna say I think it took about forty minutes into the movie to where I was like because it seemed like it seemed kind of timeless when I was watching it, but about forty minutes in, uh the mother of the girl, she was trying to express the fact that she's sober and she was like, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do this, I don't do that. She's like, I don't smoke. She's like, I don't smoke cigarettes or drink and drink or blah blah. She's like, I don't even smoke grass. When I heard her say that, I was like, oh boy, it, it kind of the movie kind of like I almost lost interest in the movie. I was like, who says grass? Come on, dude, I don't smoke any grass. For the devil's, you use it as a substitute for the devil's lettuce. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm trying to see what else happens. It's it's well it's well it's well shot. I mean, I I think because I've stum I stumbled on a, a version that was like remastered and kind of like uh, the version that was in in like the version that was uh, its best version or the version that should have been put out in the first place. It's just it's just more true or the truest form of the director's uh, version, which is like okay, it, it it makes for a better watching. I feel I've watched several movies like that who who've had some fame or gotten some crazy standing in uh, the film in the film realm and over time they've been allowed they've been allowed to give all their freedoms to this film or people just relaxed a little bit because I guess when it came out it was pretty racy uh, I don't think I'm going to detail too much of the of the stuff uh, the young the young character was saying it was suited for for the moment. I mean, somebody who was aggressive and pretty angry would talk like that. But I, I'm not gonna repeat all that stuff. It's not that I'm a a prude, I guess. But I just I don't know. Maybe I should. No, nah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that stuff. But um, where where should I start at with this movie? I mean, I think I've I've touched on 
the priest, that kind of stood out to me. And I've uh, touched on the fact that it was almost, it was seeming timeless. Oh, yeah, and the medical equipment. So I saw the medical equipment and the amount of work they had to do. I was like, oh, I don't know, man. That's, oh, but but that's such a, a, a magnificent piece of work. Um, watching the medical equipment being used, and it's all equipment used in conjunction with scanning the brain and, and, and looking for, uh, they were looking, they thought it was some type of lesion on her because they, of course they couldn't explain her, her actions and, and which, what was going on. So they're like, Oh, it has to be a brain lesion. They were trying to, the two doctors were trying to push it. And the only reason that she had, uh, the young girl had access to all this great medical care is her mother is a famous actress. And of course the director, Oh, the director's, I'm jumping around. So the director's in the party and he is uh, just berating, if that's the right word. He's, he's going crazy on the waiter, calling him a Nazi and this and that. And of course, the waiter can't take it anymore. And then he like gets him out of there and he's like, I don't care. He's drunk. And what sets up uh, him getting, uh, being the first person killed in the movie, which is like, you don't really care because... I don't know exactly if him calling that guy a Nazi was warranted because the guy was like, I'm not even German, I'm Swiss. What the hell's going on with you? I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm going to get lost on this. But uh, in my true fashion, a little sleepy. <laughs> uh, what ha what else happens in this movie? Oh, yeah, she, she starts going crazy. And all the classic stuff that you see, but I think I didn't see the 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 part where she crawls up the the walls on the ceiling. So I guess I got it. I guess that's in a like one or I guess I said two or three. I didn't see it in, in this one. I only saw her come like she like crab walk backwards down the stairs and then spit a whole bunch of blood out of her mouth. I saw that. I was like, oh okay. But you know, like I I've seen so many different spoofs and. Uh, interpretations of this movie over the years this is my first time actually watching the movie and uh it was actually well done i mean a lot of the characters uh uh, uh, uh stories were put together well i mean some of them it didn't even seem like they were just thrown in there to try and as as a <clears throat> as an act of filler or anything it seemed like every character fit well and the priest, the guy who played the uh, the initial contact for the priest, he was he was very good. The mother was very good, and of course, uh, the child uh, actor, she didn't have to be necessarily good. That what all the things, the mechanics of that part made it a great made it made it great by itself. But she, I mean, she could have messed it up. I, I say that, but she didn't. It was it was basically a good movie. The only thing was the slang and the medical equipment kind of uh, you were able to date the film with that. The clothes not necessarily because they were pretty neutral. I say I wasn't like it wasn't like they're running around with bell bottoms and uh, and uh, things of that nature because they had gotten out of the it was the early seventies so they had gotten out of the skinny ties like when you see a picture. Even if it's color and a guy has a really skinny tie, you know, that's kind of like 60s. But they had like, it, everything wasn't over-exaggerated, I, I should say. It was like almost neutral because it was still in a transition, traditional point in that decade. So it kind of like, it flowed. It, it helped me at least 40 minutes into the film to make it seem more seamless. So after, after watching it, uh... I have to say I enjoyed it, it but there was so much stuff that went on in this movie. Uh, the relationship with the, the mother and daughter was built up in the beginning as a wholesome thing to make her a sweet child. Uh, they wanted you to feel really sorry for the priest, so they showed him going through his struggles with his mother uh, and also the, the foreign aspect of it. They put that in there too. There was a couple of, uh, I guess he's speaking Greek, that's what this what the subtitle says, speaking Greek. They didn't translate it, it just said speaking Greek. So they're going through that and of course the mother winds up 
passing away, but for some reason she was sick. Basically, she was she was an older woman. She was sick, and instead of them seeking medical care, I mean, the brother put her in an insane asylum. Like, why would you put her? Why would she go there? At all places, she's she's not crazy. She's just hurt and old. But I guess somehow, I don't know, they were able to put her in there to get the medical care. She got the medical care, but she wound up passing away. And the demon knows that. So it's playing on the guy's emotion. And turn, I, I mentioned the, the guy was, was digging up stuff at the beginning of the film. He turns out to be like the only priest in, in that time that has done an a, a exorcism. So he comes back and it's like, oh, okay. And then he does it and he winds up dying uh and the younger priest winds up saying hey he winds up getting frustrated <laughs> this is another silly part he winds up getting frustrated and like punching the little girl in the face <laughs> because well because she's possessed by the demon though and he's like take me and then, then demon gets at him and then he freaking jumps out the window and i'm like oh god but i think i'm leaving out the the mother's acting she held she held up the film by going through these state of emotions. Like she was ramping up. She was cool. She was cool. She was cool. And you can see her. It was a slow burn. You can see that slow burn going on inside her and building up and getting upset and getting more and more frustrated so she couldn't take no more. And it just made it so authentic, I guess. I guess I'm just using words. And I don't know. It, it made it really, 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 uh, well planned and well thought out. It, it seemed like it was. It was a it, for that. I commend, I commend the writers and the director for that because so many times you can see movies that are just like just thrown together or whatever. I enjoyed the movie. I think it was good. 